Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with another <laughs> concealer video. So I'm here with the new LYS concealer. It's the Triple Fix Brightening Concealer. All right, so I got two shades. I got um, D DG3, which is Golden Caramel Brown Skin with a Golden Undertone. And then I got DG6, which is Dark Golden Almond, dark brown skin with a golden undertone. Now they're 25 shades and it retails for $18. And um, if I'm not mistaken, I think her foundation launched at Sephora last February because I remember it being around Black History Month. So here we go again. Um, this is very nice for um, <laughs> Black History Month. Okay, so a little bit about um, the concealer and then we're gonna jump right into it so I'm not like I said I always list everything now most of the stuff in the description box so it's a luxuriously rich ultra creamy concealer that helps visibly brighten conceal and nourish the complexion with a skin like finish the coverage is full finish is natural the part I'm gonna read though, it says this flexible concealer satisfies the craving for coverage while adding a healthy natural finish to the skin. It is designed to build and layer without settling into fine lines and pores. It is self-setting and designed with both the face and under eye areas in mind. So you guys know I like to set my concealer. So I'm gonna see today if I really want to leave it and don't set it. All right. So it came in this in this box. Looks just like um, her foundation. So if you guys hear like a noise in the background, it's my son. And if you're here for the first time, I have a son with very low function autism. So he doesn't care that I'm filming. All right, so this is DG3. Oh, wow. The packaging looks a lot like the um, hourglass, right? So this is DG3, that looks light. I'm glad now I got this darker shade and this is D, D, G6. Okay, this looks like a better shade. Let me go back again and um, look at the undertones. So D, G6, dark brown skin with golden undertones and it's a dark golden almond. D, G, D, G3, caramel brown skin with golden undertones. All right, so let me just go ahead and swatch it. Let me swatch D, G3. And how many mils? This has a total of, does it show how many mils it has? Mm, I don't see. Anyway, everything is gonna be listed in the description box. All right, so this is DG3. Oh, wow, this is, this doesn't even look golden. This looks yellow, right? This looks like really yellow, but this, I guess this could be like a brightening shade. And then we have DG6. I am NC50 Mac. If you're here for the first time, I usually have all my comparable foundation shades in the description box. The applicator is like a little sphere. Okay. So this shade is better the DG6. So this is DG3 and DG6. The DG3, <laughs> this is like a tongue twister for me. Not only is it like a little light, it's very yellow. It almost has like a, but now that it's settling on my skin, it's looking a little, it's like a golden yellow. It's not a bad shade. Maybe I can put it like in the corners. All right, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with the D. G6. I do like the packaging. It looks like her foundation. Now I'm already wearing foundation, but um, unfortunately I'm not wearing um, her foundation. I don't have that foundation anymore. Not that I don't like it, didn't like it, but <laughs> my cousin liked it a little bit more than me. All right. And excuse my hands. When I do like um, complexion reviews and I have to swatch, I don't put lotion on my hand. I like to leave my hand <laughs> bare. So I'm wearing the new NARS what is it called? I think the light reflect, reflecting foundation in the shade Macau. All right, so let's start off with the G6. <laughs> All right. 
this has the applicator is kind of like bent on top all right let's see oh this is a very pretty color this color is super golden and very like uh realistic all right so I'm gonna put it only on under eye on that side at first because I want to see like the coverage compared to. I don't love the applicator. It feels like kind of skinny and sort of like bendy, but this feels really, really creamy. And oh, I love this shade. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. This is really nice. And it looks like super hydrating. So what I'm gonna do is, as usual, I've been leaving. Oh yeah, this is this is a pretty color, right? This DG6. Maybe I didn't need a DG3, but um, I'm leaving it so it can dry a little bit. Um, the images on the Sephora website, because I purchased mine from the Sephora website. I did not like the images at all. It's like you would see the model, and then you would see the swatch. And it didn't match like this. I don't think the swatches the swatches matched. So I really didn't go by the swatches that I saw. I just went by the undertones that were listed. And as soon as I saw it dark and then I saw golden, I figured I'll I'll pick two shades. Because since the price, since it was only $18, I was like, okay, I can get two. Because, you know. I, I just reviewed the KVD Apple Concealer and I really love that one. But I also had my eye on this and I have like a lot of stuff from her brand. This color is really, really pretty guys, isn't it? All right, so for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna let it sit for too long. So let's blend it out. I'm using my Elf sponge. Oh. See, this is what concealers should do. <laughs> should I shouldn't have to be fussing about can blend out the concealer. Yeah, I'm still peeved about that Jacqueline <laughs> concealer. Still can't get over it. Okay, this is nice. It's blended out nicely. The color is super, super pretty. Mm. Okay, so this is the coverage I'm getting. Yeah, this is this is definitely full coverage and it says a natural finish. I can see that, but it's but it's not too natural. You can see that you know, I have like something under my eye, but it blends beautifully. Oh, I'm so proud of her. <laughs> you know, there's nothing like a good black owned brand for Black History Month. Oh, this is nice. And as you guys know, Creasing is the biggest thing for me. When I review a concealer, I, my thing is any concealer that I buy, it's whether it's gonna crease on me, because if a concealer is gonna crease on me, it creases very quickly, and the coverage, and so far this is looking really good. Let me put a little bit more here. Let's see if we can um, build it. I don't even wanna put DG3 now since I've seen this color, it's lovely. Oh, this color. All right, so let's put, put it, and like to get it in the, the tube, to get the um, the applicator back in the tube is kind of tight. I feel as though like I'm bending um, the applicator. Oh, it feels so nice, guys. What a pretty color. This is so, this is a better, this is even a better color than the Kat Von D. The KVD. I don't know if it's still Kat Von D. The KVD, it's, oh, this is a lovely color. All right, guys. This color, this DG6, is one of the most perfect undertones of a concealer I've ever purchased. This undertone 
Oh, it's perfect for deeper skin. It that beautiful goldenness to it. Like and it's looking really good on my skin, as you guys can see. And I'm looking at my under eye. Look at that. Because right away with the way my eyes are, and of course, you know, I have matured eyes, you know, when you're a woman of a particular age. Yeah. So look at that. See? Right in here. When I put a concealer on, it would start like giving her like those little cracks. I don't see any of it. Oh, I love this. All right. So this has nothing to do with the concealer, but quickly... I purchased this Milk Liquid Bronzer. Oh my God, I have this. This is in the shade Invincible. This is so good. I'm just going to do one side of my face. Let's just show you guys because I don't have a lot of time today. I love this so much. This is like the third time I'm wearing it. Oh, and I love it. So it looks like super, super dark. My swatches are horrible, right? It looks super dark, but once you spread it out, it's not as dark. I just, I don't know. I just want you guys to see how pretty this is. And I'm going to do a get ready with me using it. Look at that. I put three dots. Then I go in with my little elf stippling brush. Look at this. And what I love about this is that um, it goes over powder as well. Because sometimes I'll put it on after. I put it on over powder and it works. Look how pretty it is. Guys, let me tell you. And... When I don't like something, I say it. When I love something, I say it. I don't care if it's like, I like 10 things in a row. This concealer right now. Ooh, and the color. The color is just doing everything for my skin tone. Look at the color of this concealer. And the more I look at it, I can see, yeah, the naturalness, like she's saying. And I don't, I don't want to set it. I think for the first time, I'm not going to set my concealer. <laughs> I'm not going to set it. I'm going to wear it for a few, a couple hours because I can't do too many hours. And I'm going to see, I'm going to set my face, but not on my under eye. Anyway, guys, I'm going to finish up the rest of my face and I'll be back with more thoughts on this concealer. All right, guys, I am back with the rest of my face done. I love this. Two in a row. Love the KVD and I think I'm loving this a little bit more than the KVD. I mean, jeez, like... This is good. And look at my under eye. I didn't set it. This is this is a this is an absolute first for me. And for the rest of my face, I use my um, by Terry Hyaluronic her Hydra Powder. I've been loving this for just like moisture because my face has been so dry. Look at my under eye. Wow. Oh, this is beautiful. And the shade, the goldenness and the beautifulness of this DG6, the tongue twister, right? Oh, this is so good. I forgot to give you guys the time when I put it on, but let's just get to the time now. Oh, this is, this is really good. Wow. So it's 428 PM. I had a rough day. <laughs> I wanted to do this since this morning, 428 PM. So I'm going to wear this for maybe two to three hours because it's not set. So I'm really interested to see if this is really self-setting, if I really don't need powder. Cause it's like, mm. All right, guys, I'm going to go, you know, do my little wear test and I'll come back with my final thoughts. But for right now, this is beautiful. I am so happy that this, that I love this concealer. You don't know. All right, guys. See you later. All right, guys. I am back for my final check-in. It's now 10.42 p.m. So I put this on around four o'clock, right? So it's almost like seven hours and look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at my under eye. Look at this concealer and mind you, no powder. This is self-setting. This set itself and look, no creasing. Look at my under eye. I mean, I raved about the KVD Apple Concealer and this is right up there. And I would actually put this first, like before that concealer, because of this beautiful, beautiful shade. I'm obsessed with this shade. If you're my complexion, try the shade if you haven't purchased this concealer yet. And I'm putting it up there because of the price. 
18 bucks and the simple fact that I did not set it. This is the first time I've ever, ever in my life worn concealer and didn't set it. And wow, look at that. And it just looks so hydrating. And so, and everything they said in the description is true. And what's amazing about it too, I mean, it is clean. This is um, a vegan product. And it's so creamy. It looks very natural, but not natural to the point where it's like you look as though you didn't put anything on, like the um, Lisa Eldridge. Mm. It's only February, but this is gonna probably going to be one of the prettiest concealers of the year. The only thing I would say is the uh, packaging, like the bending. And when you try to, the, like the hole feels so like tight. And like when you try to push it in, it's like, see, it's like you have to like force it in there. That's the only negative, but who cares? It's the product and mm, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Packaging is super cute. Like I said, it reminds me a little bit of the Hourglass Concealer. Mm. Wow. They kill this at LYS. This concealer is so beautiful. See for yourself. It looks so soft and so natural and so healthy and hydrating. It's just all around mwah, beautiful, beautiful concealer. Anyway, guys, so I recommend this 20 out of 10. Pick it up. Only 18 bucks. And happy Black History Month. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.